Thanks, guys. I'm not very good at hitting on women. I'm very bad at it. I find any time I try, a lot of times what happens is I actually get nervous. My voice gets lower. end up sounding like Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Not a good thing. Don't know if you know that. Uh, no woman anywhere wants a guy walking up to her just like, Hi. My name is Julian. I want to see if you'll get in my van. Come with me to my place and see the hole in my basement as I lower lotions and baskets. It's not how you make friends. It's not. <laughs> Some of the things I should try to do is maybe try to change it up my voice a little, try to sound a little more confident, maybe like Liam Neeson from Taken. He exudes confidence, right? What woman wouldn't love a man to walk up with just confidence and just, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're looking for in a man. You can walk away right now, that'll be the end of it. Or, you can give me your number. And I will call you. I will find you. Why are you running away? Come back. I was supposed to the skills. She's gone. Too strong. Too strong. It's not gonna work. Start thinking again. Maybe you should try something different. Try to sound a little more sophisticated. Like you want to hear me talk. Like Morgan Freeman. We all know his voice. We all love his voice. It's a national treasure. So naturally I thought that would work. Just walk up, my word. You are the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Truly the gods took their time, carving marble stone to create this angel I've seen before me. Oh, how the heavens and earth stand so Bitch, why are you asleep? Wake up. I'm trying to woo you. <laughs> Messing with my game. <laughs> it's not gonna work. One last thing I thought, and I think this one would work perfectly, is trying to sound more intelligent. I was thinking the president, pretty intelligent man. Yeah, see? She likes him. <laughs> so a woman wouldn't love a man just with that kind of sophisticated, intelligent voice, just, Hello? You are the, uh, most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I'd like to, uh, buy a drink. Perhaps we can discuss our likes, dislikes, find some uh, common interests, and see if we can spark a connection. Now that might work, but here's the thing. When you sound like Barack Obama, and if you do not look like Barack Obama, it's creepy as shit. It doesn't work. It does not work. <laughs> if it doesn't even matter how confident I sound or how confident I am, because I have gone on dates with women, don't know why I need to clarify, but I have gone on dates with women. You know, I'll spend all this money, have a good time, enjoy each other's company, thinking we're connecting, something might happen. Nothing ever happens, because I always get an excuse, something like, I'm not one of those girls. Okay, I am not one of those girls. I'm not. And I'm like, all right, you're not one of those girls. I get it, it's fine, I understand. But where are those girls? <laughs> Clearly you know who I'm looking for. <laughs> Point them out. I really shouldn't complain about my voice though, I really shouldn't. You guys hear my voice. Nice, deep, bassy, smooth. Sounds like I ate James Earl Jones. It does. I can literally walk around just telling people, I'm looking for my son, Hakeem. I can do that, guys. Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's what's going on right here. Yeah. I had this voice for a long time as a kid. Uh, only down, only upside to having this voice was that my parents never worried about me playing outside by myself as a kid because they knew nobody would abduct, abduct a kid who sounded like this. All right, there was no ice cream truck driving up in the front with a guy inside like, hey little boy, I got candy in my van. You wanna come with me? That sounds, oh shit, he just drives away. 
And I'm standing there, candyless and sad. <laughs> you know, my name is Julian. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good night.